Behind me you'll notice a big old tree. One of the old fellows, I suppose, of the old generation. One of the remnants, we would call them remnants. There's a lot of them dotted through the landscape and this is what makes our landscape so special. You know, the welfare of the country in relation to what we see and what we feel about us. This tree is still a very special tree. I can't help correlating the life of a red gum to the life of a person. Pretty much the same, really. This tree is still shedding seed, so it's still creating an opportunity for itself to regenerate, rejuvenate, recruit. And this is what their life is all about. One of the big issues for them is they can't move. We can. They're stuck on that spot. I've been here for 70 years, and you'll see I'm thinning on top. I've got a few lumps and a few warts, etc. But when you look at this old remnant behind me, he's got hollows, he's got lumps, he's got warts. He's thinning on top, but he's still alive. Probably been here for over 500 years. And I often think, I wonder who ever touched that tree. Here long before white settlement. Long before white settlement. When the Aborigines used to use this river as a food source, they possibly hid behind this tree years ago. We don't know, but they're still in our landscape and they are so special. Once again, every living entity has got an opportunity. It's up to us though, to provide an opportunity for these guys when they shed their seed so that they can recruit and regenerate. Very special food source for a lot of birds, hollows for animals, but one of our living icons still.